Hi guys, how are you doing? So what we're going to do in this next session is to handle payments because if somebody just checks out the um, QR codes, you will see that they can, they should be able to handle when they look at the QR code um, and scan it. At the end of the day, we want to have a system where it connects to a payment processor such as uh, PayPal, Stripe, there are different payment processors. Um, so somebody scans this qr code i'm just trying to find one of them that has a qr code i think it's from number five this one yep so somebody scans this qr code a payment page should pop up so that the people can uh, pay with paypal or stripe or any of the uh, payment platforms all right now when somebody pays with stripe where how do we keep track we need to keep track that um the creator of this um this um, QR code received the payment and then we also need to keep track that um, that this is the balance remaining so that we can pay back so we the owner of the platform we should be able to have a place we can uh, see uh, the account balance of everybody we need to see how much you've spent on the platform and how much you've made and then if you want us to pay or pay you out we need to see also um, the details of the payment so we're going to create three tables the first one is the banks bank account details we need people to be able to enter their bank account detail or payment uh, method um, I think a payment method then we also need people to um, we need to see the account balance of everyone then uh, we need to keep record of your uh, account history so account history I think what we should just do is to combine the accounts and the banks so we have just one then we have account history all right so let's go usually the way we do that we have to create the migration for it so we do php artisan create migrate make migration and then we write the name of the migration create underscore accounts underscore table hit enter then the next one is we're going to create account histories so let's create account histories account history will just keep a log of everything um, that happens account histories it keeps a log of everything that uh, happens on the account if you receive payment we'll log it if you make payment ask for withdrawal we we'll log it so now these two have been created we can see it in our uh, tables if we go to go to database go to migrations then we can see um, I need to refresh it I'll click this to refresh so we have to get back to where we are tables migrations now we have it accounts and account histories all right so uh, we have to go to accounts and um, fill up the, the fields we want to have in account now to do that the first field i want to have in account is i need to be able to track the user that owns the, the account so i'll call it um in, it's an integer user underscore id period and then it can't be no can't, there is no default okay so secondly we need to track um okay of course we need to have soft deletes table do you remember what soft deletes are soft deletes are for deleting without actually deleting so sub deletes plural done then we need to have you know the account balance account oh what am i typing we need to have a table um, account balance should be float and then um, it should contain how many numbers the first one is we'll call it account i think it should be balance balance then there can be 10 numbers before it and there can be let's say four numbers after the decimal so this is 10 number before the decimal four numbers after the decimal account balance and the, the default can be zero default can be um, zero you don't have any account balance now we can work on um, other stuff like um, bank or payment method table but before then let us look at um, 
total account received total money received load i think i should just instead of repeating myself i should duplicate this so this one will be total total credit as amount total amount of money you've received in the account and then total debit that's total amount of money you have um, withdrawn from the account total debit beautiful now we need to also track your payment um, method like if you want to withdraw withdrawal a method you understand so we can say um, table um, integer sorry uh, string withdrawal method and then we're gonna put a default default is bank so some people can have paypal so i have to put it here paypal have bank paypal what else bank what else the stripe depending on your whatever method so you can now add other details so we can have table string payment details so this payment details will contain we will manually write i think i should make it long text long text the reason is long text is so that we can manually uh, manipulate what information we'll have there here we can have um, bank branch bank name branch country zip code whatever we'll just dump everything here you can do yours manually uh, to list all the fields individually depends on how you want to uh, run write your own code but i think this handles the accounts and now we're going to have to handle the account history so we can go um like like I, I was saying there are many other things we can have here um like paypal accepts email so we can just have payment email for instance i can add it here um table string payment email so it's not level mustn't be field and this is nullable something mustn't be inside and what else is nullable i think um every other thing has a default all right so um we can figure out other payment de details like bank name brand beautifully we can just list all of them i'll just list all of them uh, bank name bank branch bank account account um, what else uh, country we can have country and then order other bank details Or whatever so this takes care of our account generally what we basically need on this account to fill is this and then this now we're gonna have to work with the next one which is um account history so account history will simply be tied to an account so we have a um, table and um integer i think this video is already too long let's continue in the next video